night lovers thank you once again for watching my videos please don't forget to subscribe hello tea lovers welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in uh please don't forget to subscribe like comment and if you want to you can also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload uh I upload my videos today I'm giving you part two of living in China mostly the things that I don't really like about China so let's speak about the oh, in my previous video I spoke about the food and about how people are in general especially in a small town so now I'm going to speak about the things that are annoying me like every day Oh, one of them is like annoying me every day which is the toilet system they use what we call a uh, squat toilets especially in public places like your malls uh, some of the hotels they use the same thing um, what else um, schools like just public spaces and then some other houses and buildings they use the same thing but I was fortunate enough that in my building we have um, the normal toilets or the western toilets which is the toilet seat that you can actually sit down and do your business so the disadvantage about the squat toilets firstly you have to squat um, you know when you're squatting and you are for example doing number one you will definitely splatter everywhere so your shoes are exposed to your urine and whatever that may be on the floor from the previous person um your clothes may get dirty because these toilets are not clean because you have to take into account that there are some kids kids are the messy messiest people i've ever seen and some other old people they just don't care what they do so they you would find that they are always wet they um they stink because every sanitary things that we use sanitary pads sanitary tissues uh everything that is sanitary really you can't flush it you're not allowed to flush it because um it will it will block the toilet itself but you can flush your number ones and number twos but you can't flush the toilet paper or sanitary pads or sanitary tissues that you have used so they normally just put um a bin and then they cover it with um plastic over it and then whatever you used in the toilet you just have to throw, throw it in the bin so now you have to take into account that whoever is cleaning the toilets, they don't come every day. Uh, I mean, not every day, they don't come every hour to take out whatever is in the bin. So they may be coming once a day in the afternoon or in the um, before they knock out, whatever. But they don't come in like all the time to clear the bins, which is something I think if we are not flushing the toilets, then those beans should be cleared like regularly maybe two hours you know and someone needs to like clean those toilets literally because it gets pretty messy and wet up in those toilets and you don't have a choice really if you are outside you are pretty far from your own apartment there's really nothing you can do but to use those toilets so yeah that's one thing i don't like about china um but it's not always the same thing as i said uh, different places have different types of um toilets toilet systems but the majority you will definitely find um the the squat toilets and you might want to just um uh, bring a uh, sanitary uh, hand sanitizers or wipes whatever just to keep yourself and your hands as clean as possible okay um yeah and what else um this other personal thing that happened to me was that uh i was coming back from work it was actually lunch time so i get into this elevator i stay in one of the tallest buildings which is um uh, i stay on the 17th floor and i was 
in the elevator with this other man so he was going on the 24th floor so we both get in no other person unfortunately so it was just the two of us so he keeps on speaking to me in chinese this is this was like my second month here or my first month i'm not sure but it was during the early days of my arrival so he keeps on speaking to me in chinese but he can say that i don't understand chinese like what were the odds of me actually understanding chinese or responding like if you're speaking to someone and then they don't respond like right there and then you should like already um get the message that okay it's either they don't want to speak to you or they don't understand you so he keeps on speaking to me and the elevator goes up um, I keep on trying to make hand gestures because he is very loud and you know it's kind of hard to ignore him and the elevator is only this big so I keep on making hand gestures just to try to be friendly brush him off friendly so I keep on shrugging my shoulders up and down pointing at my ears that dude I don't understand you Fine. as I was about to go out the elevator on my floor he literally spanked my ass he spanked me and I look at him in astonishment and he's smiling he doesn't see anything wrong with what he just did and he gives me a thumbs up both thumbs up and he is smiling like wow he just won an award a Grammy award or something and I was looking at him in astonishment. Now, right then, then I had to decide what am I going to do? If I retaliate, I may get into trouble because I'm a minority in this small town. I don't know the laws about these whole things. I'm sure you've heard about how normal it is for men, actually for anyone to abuse anyone. Uh, you've, I've seen couples fighting, literally fighting a uh, punching each other on the streets and no one does anything about it. it's like wow it's none of our business so i had to think about those things and realize if i retaliate maybe assault this person i may get into trouble so with my delayed reaction i walked away and <laughs> i never felt actually um embarrassed and i felt sexually uh, assaulted uh, it was just a terrible feeling and there was really nothing i can do about it i can't speak chinese so there's definitely i can't report it to anyone um this is not something that happens all the time but these things do happen and in some countries when you are a foreigner laws don't really apply to you as an individual as you are obviously a minority of the majority so some laws will not work on your favor especially if let's say i have punched him in the face and then he goes to the police nearest station i'm a foreigner they're already thinking all sorts of things about foreigners especially the authorities or the government that we are here to do fraud or whatever so i literally had to walk out but if it was in south africa i would have definitely retaliated so those are the things you just have to look out for how you respond i'm not saying you should smile and walk away every time these things happen you do have to react in a certain way and i didn't smile at him i showed him that okay i didn't like this as a result every time i see him uh it's just unfortunate that we stay in the same building he um he doesn't greet me i don't look at him i don't smile at him um he's he just stopped doing whatever he was doing trying to get me to talk to him so i don't know if he got the message that i didn't like what he was doing or he felt um embarrassed but i'm not justifying his ex so yeah man but don't be alarmed if you're coming to china china is a, a really good country and then another thing that um where upon my arrival i didn't like is that um in the bathroom i'm speaking a lot about the bathroom today but in the bathroom uh you have your shower you have your toilet and then you have your uh, uh sink but now as we know back home that a, a shower usually has a glass door 
or something but it's separated from the other things in the room but here nope it's not separated everything so it's just the shower and then next to it there's a toilet and then next to it there's a, a sink so when you are showering so everything is going everywhere so you have to get over that part and yeah man um and i'm not the only one who's experiencing this because i'm in a small town apparently um this is how they design their to uh their bathrooms which really sucks and i don't have a bathtub but i didn't use it anyways yeah um other than that um it's quite awesome to be in china cost of living is very low um the rent if you are paying for yourself is also very low like you could pay something about in a, a quite good apartment like you could be staying alone you could pay something like um 300 RM, uh 3000 rmb which will um round off to plus minus 6000 rands so yeah and when they say it's fully furnished especially if your school says that they provide the apartment for you you don't have to worry about buying a bed uh buying a fridge buying um a microwave you will get those things and you will even get pots sometimes or maybe you will just have to literally just buy plates um cutlery you will have to buy just a few things your own bedding but when they say it's fully finished, trust me, it's fully finished. TVs, they don't have to worry about TV. They have Wi-Fi connection because that's how their TVs work. They have to connect to Wi-Fi. And it's quite awesome, really. So don't worry about um, buying your own furniture. But obviously, if you want to change something, you can. But you, upon your arrival, you will receive all those things. Thank you for watching again. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. I know we say this a lot as YouTubers, but your subscription, guys, really means a lot to us. So, yeah, we do want to get paid one day. So, please, 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 please subscribe, like, and comment. Just be active on our platforms. And thank you once again.